Unless you're applying a piece of fabric directly on top of something like a pocket, you'll want to sew right side to right side or face to face. That means you're sewing while looking at the wrong side of the fabric. If you like using pins, feel free to use as many as you need or as little as you need. Lift your presser foot, put your fabric down, making sure the edge of the fabric matches your seam allowance requirement. Then lower the presser foot to hold in place. To help avoid having the threads suck back up into the machine during your first stitch, hold the threads down with your hand to make one stitch using the hand wheel. Once you've got that one stitch, you can now sew a couple of stitches by foot without worrying about the thread being sucked up into the machine. Be sure to backstitch a couple of stitches to lock the stitch and avoid it coming loose. Usually two or three does it. If you're using pins, be sure to stop sewing before going over the pin. If your needle hits the pin, you can accidentally damage your machine. If you find that your fabric slips or you end up with the top piece sewing differently than the bottom piece, you may have to show that fabric who's boss. Even with delicate fabrics, you can still be a little bit forceful with it if you have to. Hold the ends of the piece and slightly pull your hands apart, making the fabric tight and firm. Keep holding it like this as you move along with the speed of the machine. This avoids the feed dogs from underneath from feeding the bottom fabric faster than the top fabric. This might be a little advanced, but try it out the next time your pieces don't end up at the same place when they're supposed to. Whichever method you prefer, make sure your seam allowance is together throughout the entire seam. And remember to be sure to end with the backstitch and then clip your threads.